Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is July 21st, 2018. Uh, this is our daily cryptocurrency market news analysis to where we're here to give you all the news according to the charts. And on top of that, we're here to give you all our price predictions of where we're expecting the market to move for some of these cryptocurrencies in the cryptocurrency space. And again, we're only utilizing this space on YouTube as an avenue for you all to maintain and get this exclusive content that is not available anywhere else except on this channel and on our Houston News Patreon page. And if you are not a member of ours, then you definitely need to come on over to there because we are the only organization that is able to predict price movement without the use of indicators. I know you guys can see a lot of videos on YouTube uh, of people using Elliott Ways, Fibonacci retracements, uh, stochastic RSIs, MACDs, all of these type of indicators on their charts. And it literally looks confusing. And if you are that type of individual who simply wants to be less confused or not confused at all, then join us. Become a member of ours on our Houston News Patreon page because there we are eliminating the confusion. You guys can even tell on the chart right now that you're looking at that we don't use indicators. They're pointless. They're useless. It only causes confusion, cause you to have analysis paralysis to where you simply just don't know what direction the market is going to go, which hence in turn restricts you from placing a trade or even knowing when to get out the market. So right now, let's just go ahead and get into our analysis. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin. They're up almost 1% right now. Last trade was seven thousand four hundred thirty-three dollars and fifty cents, and you know, looking at the daily price chart for Bitcoin, you guys can still see here how the market is definitely giving us some indications of some consolidation, which you would expect because we definitely went through that during this particular time period. Uh, we told all of our members that we we're looking for Bitcoin, Bitcoin to come to seventy-two hundred dollars, and you can see that it did that. So definitely, this confirms that consolidation is still intact. And since we have been in a upward movement over the last couple of weeks, then they're definitely still in place still. OK. Quick look at the three hour bars for Bitcoin. You guys can still see here that consolidation is still being had. Still looking for that consolidation to continue. And still, since we have been in a movement higher in price, that is still in play long term. Simply means that we could come back up to seventy five, even seventy six hundred dollars. That those two prices are resistance areas that Bitcoin we had to overcome in order for us to move higher. And definitely I'm expecting Bitcoin to continue its movement higher. 7,500 is the first area of resistance and then 7,600 is the next area. Only for the fact that we did not get the follow through to movement lower on this weakness bar there. So expect consolidation and movement higher in Bitcoin still. Next on the list is going to be Ethereum. Uh, you can see that Ethereum is up 4.56%. Last trade was $467.32. And the daily price chart for Ethereum definitely shows us that the market today is definitely consuming all of the weakness that came into the space yesterday. You guys can see here that resistance is coming in right now around $468.91. But I can see it coming up to around six, I mean, $472. Uh, again, there's still some strength here in this space for Ethereum paired against USD that you would expect the market for this currency to continue to move higher. Quick look at the one hour bar for Ethereum, uh, looking at that resistance area right now. So if we cannot break $468, then expect movement to the downside. But as of now, there's still some strength here in the background. I'm still looking for Ethereum to move higher in price. And again, I said it might just go up to 472. So just keep that in mind. But strength is still here at this present time for Ethereum. So now let's look at Litecoin. Uh, Litecoin currently is up 2.28%. Last trade was $84.47. Uh, daily price chart for this currency as well. You can see that we found support around $80, which is great. But again, we're not out the woods yet for movement lower in Litecoin. Okay, consolidation is definitely up there around $90 as resistance. And now I just told you all that $80 or even $75 our prices of support. A uh, quick look at the three hour bars for Litecoin. 
you can see here just like with ethereum the market is still upholding strength at this particular time but i'm real cautious that that 85 dollar is coming in as a huge area of resistance even all the way up there around 86 dollars are areas of resistance that like whom we have to overcome and it, the volume continues to decline as we continue to move out in time and as we move higher definitely lessens the ability for litecoin to continue to move higher okay quick look at the one hour bar for this currency you can see that 85 dollars is a huge area of resistance market is definitely trying to build up enough momentum so it can try to break it but right now i'm definitely not convinced that that's going to occur 85 dollars is resistance so we cannot break it expect consolidation and movement lower until we're ready to do so but there's definitely opportunities for this coin to move higher so what I'm looking for in Litecoin is continued consolidation, uh, definitely a huge area of resistance. So we cannot break $85, expect movement to the downside. But if we do expect Litecoin to continue to move higher in price back up to around 86 or even 87 throughout trading tomorrow. OK. So now let's go ahead and take a quick look at Ripple. Uh, Ripple currently is up 4.08%. Last trade was around 45 cents, almost 46. You can see here that Ripple on the daily price chart, all these cryptocurrencies are doing the same thing today. We had such a huge movement to the downside that we actually are consolidating today. Okay, so 44 cents for Ripple came in as a strong area of support, and now we're coming across some resistance now on the daily price chart. A uh, quick look at the three hour bars for Ripple. Uh, again, you can see here that the market is coming across areas of resistance around 46 cents, but I still see opportunities for Ripple to come to 46 and a half cents uh, throughout trading tomorrow. OK, there is still especially on this three hour bar. If we enclose above this previous close and there's still strength here in the market, you would expect them to continue to move higher in price. Now, once you look at the one hour bars for Ripple, you can see that resistance is coming in around 46 cents so expect more or less consolidation and ripple until we're able to break 46 cents definitely the volume is not there for us to break 46 cents at this particular time so until then expect consolidation movement lower now the last one's going to be eos EOS currently is up 2.07%. Last trade was $8.15. Uh, I mean, pretty much the daily price chart looked like all the other altcoins for today. Let's take it to a smaller time frame real quick. And even on a smaller time frame, you can see here during the background of this chart that $8.20 is resistance. And again, stop pile is definitely coming into market. So we cannot break $8.20 for EOS. Then the market will continue to move to the downside one hour chart definitely shows you that we have this is probability of change of tone in the market so in the next one hour and this current one hour bar in fact we do close below then the best thing we're going to get in the short term is consolidation in eos okay expecting the market to stay within that consolidation it might come up to around eight dollars and thirty cents eight dollars forty cents in trading tomorrow if we continue to maintain strength in the market but what i am expecting in the short term for eos is consolidation and even possibly moving up lower okay now we can break eight dollars in eos in order for us to maintain consolidation if we break eight dollars throughout trading today into tomorrow then we're going to continue to move lower and price back down towards seven dollars and eighty cents so that's all i got for today for these five cryptocurrencies uh definitely uh, we're here to give you all more of this information but in order for us to maintain operating expenses you definitely need to come on over to our Houston news patreon page and there you guys will get this exclusive content for a very reasonable price uh only three dollars a month ten cents a day that's literally what it all boils down to in order to get this analysis and we're definitely building up a community to where we are going to be able to predict prices without the use of indicators patterns or even expensive software OK, so just be careful with all those other individuals who are trying to persuade you that they have the course, the trick, the trade in order to be profitable, because the simplest way to do it is by our method. 
So we look forward to y'all coming on over and participating and becoming a member. Again, the link is going to be in the description of the video if you guys are interested. If not, we'll know you guys be back because everyone else is just simply causing you confusion. Make sure you all maintain your profitability and I will see you all later.